Hello. Good to see you. How are you doing? Good, and you? Good, good, okay. good, good. Dear Mr. Delort, good to have you here on our booth as a co-exhibitor. You are exhibiting a far infrared array. Can you describe what it is, a far infrared array? Yes, so uh, the picture that you see here uh, is generated by uh, our far infrared array, which is basically a low resolution thermal camera. Which are its main applications? Um, there are multiple applications uh, for this device. Uh, so it actually senses uh, the absolute uh, temperature. Um, this means that it can be used in the industry and in, in process industry to look at the temperature of the process, the temperature, of, for instance, of, of food. Um, but we see also that it is more and more used as a presence uh, detector to see if there are people uh, present in the rooms for uh, building automation kind of applications. In your material I see you promote it as a plug-and-play device. What does it actually mean? Uh, so the far infrared array is a plug-and-play device uh, in the sense that uh, in the sensor itself uh, we have the analog sensor, we have the digital uh, chips that do the processing, uh, that also do the interfacing, uh, the optics are included and on top of that uh, Malexis calibrates the device so that uh, the user only needs to solder it on a PCB and it's ready for use. Can you tell us something about the price and competitive positioning? Uh, yes, so um, most of you will probably know thermal images from uh, uh, TV and those are made by bolometer technology uh, devices. Now, bolometer technology devices are relatively expensive uh, compared to our uh, technology, which is a thermopile-based uh, MEMS um, product. Uh, and this means that uh, in terms of pricing, uh, the product is targeted for uh, mass adoption, uh, for appliances, uh, for building automation kind of applications, so for high volume applications. And how do you see the future of this technology? Well, we are demonstrating here today uh, one of our new releases, uh, which is the 32 by 24 pixels uh, device. Um, we already have a lower resolution device on the markets, and there are more versions uh, upcoming uh, in, uh, uh, as we speak. Um, so we see gradually more and more adoptions and more applications, and we are also making more versions available. I see a bright future for the far infrared array. Mr. Delort, thank you for your time and the qualified response. Enjoy the rest of the exhibition. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.